Let's go. A huge bounce back game. And what did I say last night? I said, if we wanted to win this baseball game today, someone like Jake Arrieta would have to pitch like Aaron Nola. Now, he, did he pitch exactly like Aaron Nola? No, because that's unhuman like. But Jake Arrieta goes seven strong innings. He only allows one earned run, and he strikes out seven. There were times in this game early on. First inning, third inning, guys on third base, but the Boston Red Sox can't find a way to, to punch in these runs. It was like they were taking notes last night of the Philadelphia Phillies. That's what it looked like. But let's take a look at how this game dissected this 3-1 to one victory. You have Jorge Alfaro doubling off the green monster. Hits off the top of the green monster, and that scores Mike Franco from first base. He goes all the way around. He squeaks in at home plate for a one to nothing lead. Scott Kingery then, a few innings later, top four. Sacrifice fly, scores a run, 2 nothing. Opportunity with Scott Kingery up in that situation. I'm thinking, oh no, he hasn't been hitting that great. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Hell, he got us a run. Big run. Then you have the Boston Red Sox with Jake Arrieta still in the game. Playing a little bit of a small ball or ground out, but it scores a run. A run does come in, and they crack the lead in half, 2-1. to one. But that's when Carlos Santana in the top of the ninth hits a single, and that scores Reese Hoskins after a double, and we win this ball game. I'm stoked. I mean, let's be real. We, we could have won both. When you look at it that way, we actually could have won both in Fenway. We pissed yesterday's game away. But what we do, we split. And it could have been a lot worse, right? It could have been worse. So we split. We had Jake Arrieta pitch well. Tommy Hunter comes in and one, two, three years with daddy. What's he do? He does a very clean inning. And then Sir Anthony comes in. And that wasn't so clean. I'll be honest with you. That absolutely was not clean. Hit batter. Hit Bogarts. But hey, he <laughs> pinch hit opportunity for the Boston Red Sox. You have Mookie Betts up. Sir Anthony Dominguez gets the job done, and that's what really matters. There was a really nice play today. It was actually in the bottom of the first. It was first and third, two outs, and Jorge guns it as they fake throwing it down to second. It gets cut off. They come back home, and they get the out at home, baby. It was beautiful. I forgot to mention... <clears throat> Odubel Herrera, not in the lineup tonight. So Odubel Herrera wasn't playing. Who do we put in? We put in Quinn. Well, let's talk about his night at the office because um, it wasn't bad as he goes three for five and a double and two singles. His speed is really noticeable. Nick Williams had a nice couple defensive plays, some nice catches. Cesar Hernandez, 0 for 4, really struggling. He's having a tough, tough time right now, and it's concerning. You have fans, you have reporters talking, maybe do we try Quinn at, at leadoff right now with someone with this speed? Cesar's just not having it. It's been really hideous to watch. Carlos Santana, 2 for 5. Reese Hoskins, 1 for 3. You have Michael Franco, 2 for 3, and walk twice. Very productive day for Michael Franco at the plate today. Scott Kingery, 0 for 2, but he had a walk. Listen, we won the baseball game in Fenway. Huge, huge. The Braves win as well, though. Well, they're winning at the moment. Their game got delayed, but they're going to win. It's 9-3 to the last time I checked. Reese Hoskins also, by the way, walked twice. All-around good game. Great game from the pitching. Jake Arrieta answered the bell. Answered the bell today. Was on a big stage and did it and performed and got the W. Went seven strong. Seven Ks looked great. Tommy Hunter looked great. Sir Anthony Dominguez got the job done. Jorge Alfaro heard some footsteps. What's that, Wilson Ramos? Now, let me double off the green monster to give us a one-run lead. He answered the bell offensively with that one. I mean, the player of the game has got to go to Quinn, right? Three for five and an opportunity to play. After Odubel makes some mental errors, he gets three hits today. I love it. I love it. I mean, obviously, you can give it to a Carlos Santana for a single that scores a big-time run. Insurance run in the ninth after a Reese Hoskins double. Ten hits today for the good guys. Ten hits, one error. What would be a Philadelphia Phillies game without an error? There wouldn't be a such thing. I I'm thrilled. I, I am. I actually am very excited that we go out there and get this W. We split the series. 
you know, uh, last night was very upsetting. This team could could have just folded and died and went down. But no, they step up big time. They get a big win. And now, you know, they get a little day off. And then they push forward into a Marlin series that they should be able to do some damage. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a huge game. I love it. A momentum switch here. We do struggle, though, with the Marlins. We struggle when we play our own division, and that's the kind of things that are going to be reoccurring here as of late as we go through the push is our own division, and we struggle big time, and that scares me. And even teams like the Marlins, we know the way that it ended at the end of the All-Star break. That concerns me. That concerns me. So now that I'm looking at it, you know... <laughs> We got to see what happens, but for some reason this Phillies team struggles when it comes to something like that, when it comes to the Marlins, the Nats, the Mets, the Braves. We got to figure that out because that's what we're going to have to work with moving along this back stretch here. We're going to have to play our division and play them a lot. So our first test is coming up next against the Marlins. Let's see what we got. See you guys next time.